Hi everyone, it's the Joyful Yogini here. It is time for Intuition Wednesday. So this is where you get to practice your own intuition. I pull some cards, you get to look at the cards, you get to feel the energy of the cards, and you get to see if one or more of the cards happen to have messages for you. Now just so you know, you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. My one-on-ones can be up to an hour and a half in length because we just do whatever needs to be done. And so it's a channeled reading, but plus a healing session. So sometimes I'm inspired to take you through a meditation or just simply some energy you work to clear out chakras clear out some baggage that's ready to let go so if you're interested in that you can send me a message and we can set something up I also do one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions group yoga and hey with the month in the month of April you can try my yoga classes for free so they're online classes I have a vinyasa vinyasa flow that you can join for all levels also a chair yoga and there's a couple of meditations that you can also try out now if you've never done yoga before ever in your life or it's been a really long time we can book a pre-class session just you and me just to see where you're at and maybe take you through some of the postures and give you some adaptations so then you'll be ready to go when uh, when the class starts so send me a message so let's get going on this this reading, this channeled reading where you get to practice your intuition. So today I'm using my Archangel Oracle deck. Whether you believe in angels, archangels, things like that, it doesn't matter. You can just take from these cards what resonates, everything else, just let it go. Change the interpretation to be what works for you. Okay, so I'm just going to start by showing you the backs of each of the cards and then I will reveal what the actual cards are. I haven't even looked at these cards yet. So I just pulled them out just before we started. So here is card number one. Just look at the back of the card, see if any aspects of the card, colors of the card, if anything stands out for you. Do you get any feelings, any emotions, uh, any tightness or lightness? Just take in that card and see what comes to you. And whenever you're ready, close your eyes and now pay attention to your body. Use all five senses to be able to feel into the energy of the card and see if you get any messages. Sometimes you might feel things in certain parts of your body. If you know anything about chakras, which are energy centers, you might feel them in certain chakras. So just take it all in, pay attention to all the thoughts that might be popping into your head. Just observe them, acknowledge them. And if you don't get any type of message, it might simply mean that this particular card doesn't have a message for you. You're looking to see if you get any type of indication as to whether the energy of this card has a message for you. And you might get a message from one or more of these cards. So that is card number one. Card number two, again, the back of the card. Card number two, first just look at the back see if anything stands out for you differently than the first one. Pay attention to thoughts, feelings, scents that might come to mind or that you smell, or that you taste in your mouth. Close your eyes when you're ready. Take it all in. See if you feel it in any area of your body. Pay attention to thoughts, to feelings. And if I'm going through this too quickly for you, just pause it. You can pause and concentrate on the card for as long as you like. So that is card number two. Here is card number three. So again, look at the back of the card. Does it feel any different? Does it seem any different? And I would love it if you would, in the comment section, write what you're feeling, write what you're getting. Card number one, I feel felt this. Card number two, nothing. Card number three, this is what I got. Or you can simply just say, you can simply just write a message for the cards that you actually got something on. So if you haven't yet, close your eyes, tune in. All right, so that's card number three. And here, finally card number four. So sometimes three cards want to come out, four cards want to come out, five cards want to come out. So today these four cards wanted to come out. Whatever you've been going through this week, I feel like the energy this week is, has been getting lighter now. 
it's getting lighter. The energy within us has been shifting. We have more clarity. The things we were really confused about, it seems like the confusion has just shifted and it's more of a knowing. All right, so those were the four cards. So let's do the reveal. The first card is prioritize. And this message comes from Archangel Metatron. Now Metatron normally does lots of healing through using geometric shapes. So Metatron says, focus on your highest priorities. I help you to get organized and motivated. We can so easily leave things, just keep on putting it off because other things just seem more imperative because they come up. So we really need to schedule it in. And if you literally in your calendar today, one o'clock, this is what I'm gonna work on. 3.30, this is what I'm gonna work on. This is when I'm gonna get my walk in. This is when I'm gonna have my meditation time. Schedule yourself in. Whatever is your priority, you need to make it happen. We can so easily allow excuses to come up and they seem really important at the time you know family that's a really important excuse they need to come first sometimes right but when you are clear on what you want and you schedule that in you can be clear with your communication and set those boundaries and make sure that you make time for yourself and whatever that is important to you to get done all right so that is card number one Card number two, and you, so let me know if that resonates with you, uh, for you. So card number two is life review, Archangel Jeremiel. Life review, take inventory of your life, resolve to change or heal anything that is imbalanced. So sometimes if, I, if I'm using my animal tarot deck, the life review card is the worm card, the earthworm digging through what we have gone through and uh, being able to see things clearly. So we all have certain patterns in certain areas of our lives. And so those patterns have been coming more apparent over the past few weeks with different things that have been coming up, different things we've been experiencing, different emotions that have been coming up that feeling a little bit uncomfortable, gives us an opportunity to question our behavior and be able to make some new choices that actually feel better. So it's really important for you to pay attention to the emotions that are coming up because they're giving you an indication. Does this really work for you? Because if you're having those uncomfortable feelings, then no, it doesn't really work for you. And sometimes we can get into a pattern of always doing things for other people. We feel obligated to do other people, to, to do other people. Well, maybe you feel obligated to do other people depending on your situation. Um, but even I had a bit of an aha before and my, um, it was just, I don't know, four or five days ago or something, I was in a meditation and the message that I got was, yeah, I, the weight of the world was on my shoulders, feeling like I needed to help everybody and give my time to everybody. And so that means I had less and less and less time for myself. It's like, oh, I have to help them and I gotta put my time there and I gotta put my time there. And once I got that message, I'm like, oh, wow, yeah. And I didn't realize, like, it might seem silly. Why should I be obligated, feel obligated to be able to help everyone? But I'm a healer. I'm a light worker. And those of you who are light workers or you just always give from your, your heart, you can have that underlying obligation. Well, that's part of my life purpose. So I got to help everyone. But no, you don't have to help everyone. So you can assist people on your own time when it works for you, when you can schedule that in without depleting yourself. So pay attention to what are those things that, what are those patterns that have been surfacing? Because it's time to let go of all that's no longer working for you. It's like we have a clean slate right now. So how do you want your life to flow? How do you want to be treated? What are those boundaries that you need to set that are going to work for you? The next card that came up is prosperity. Whoop, whoop, this is an awesome card. Look at that cornucopia of prosperity. Look at all that gold and it's in different shapes. So we have 
uh, stars in there. We have hearts in there. It's gold. It's shimmering. It's beautiful. So this is Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided for as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So this is confirmation that you've been, you've been doing the right thing. So just keep on trusting in that intuition. You're not necessarily going to be doing things the way you think other people would want you to do them. You're going to be doing them your way in the pattern that ends up working for you, the timing that works for you, the way that works for you. So keep, you're, you're doing the right thing. Keep on moving and prosperity is yours. It's already coming to you. And I bet you've already been getting some signs of prosperity. So celebrate that. Celebrate that, be in gratitude for that, and trust that more is coming. Life is opening up for you in those areas that you have been making some beautiful changes as you've been aligning with your soul's purpose. The next one is you know what to do. You know what to do. So this is Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So there might be something that maybe you're a little hesitating. I'm not too sure. Is this what I... Is this what I should be doing? And I can actually think of one thing that's been coming to mind for myself. It's like, yeah, you you know what's right. You know what just seems like it's just hasn't been working the way you want it to. And so even though you made this, maybe you made a previous decision and you went along a different path. And at that time, it felt really right. And maybe it was a month ago, maybe it was six months ago, maybe it was just a few weeks ago, but now you're seeing things from a different perspective. So it is okay for you to switch gears, for you to take a different path. You needed it to happen in that way so you can have the freedom to be able to move forward and see things the way you were seeing things. But now you have more clarity. So now with that additional clarity, you can detour your path and uh, you will experience more prosperity because once again, you're trusting in yourself. So let me know which cards resonated for you. Share the way you got your messages so we can help grow our intuition together. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can send me a message and I can let you know how we can do that or join one of my free yoga classes uh, within the month of April and my online May uh, or my online spring courses are starting in the month of May. So test it in April, sign up for May and we'll have a lot of fun and healing together. From my light to yours, namaste. Bye.